The story and victory of June 12 struggles are not complete without the mention of journalists whom, despite fierce threats of guns by the military, never stopped writing. They gave birth to guerrilla journalism after 1993 presidential election. Plus TV senior correspondent Kaya Deladeinde speaks with some of these journalists. True to their description in the Constitution as the fourth estate of the realm with the mandate to uphold public trust, Nigerian journalists lived up to their responsibility. The poster boy of the struggle, Mashud Kashima Wabiola, once had a newspaper known as Concord Newspaper, which largely helped in pushing the demands against the annulment of the election widely believed to be peaceful and free from malpractice. Two of the journalists working with the newspaper then, Dele Momodu and Olushola Oshunke, shared their different experiences, both at home and in the diaspora. I found myself in detention at a lockdown detention camp between July and August 1993. But I'm not sure that Nigeria has fully liberated itself from the hands of or the grief, what I call the grief of the military. You never knew which press conference. I tell you, there was one, one particular press conference uh, that, uh, that uh, was organized somewhere in Yaba. I was there, I attended it. Dr. Chuki Abayomi, you know, that popular question and lawyer. My, my colleague, uh, Wola Diemo, uh, later became, who later became the executive, one of the executive editors of Tell Magazine. We were in that press conference. Then the thing was stranded out. Then for we did, we just saw some funny moments. Before we knew what was happening, my brother, Dr. Tunya Bayomi, had been whisked. My brother and colleague, Wola Diemo, had been whisked. When I saw what was going on, I just melted first into the covenant, into the bathroom. Then from there, I don't know, I cannot recall exactly how it disappeared from that, that place. And even lying car. Adagun, who was working with the government-owned media house, would not allow his conscience betray him. For once, we started having underground journalism, guerrilla journalism. I know of a publication where pages one, two, three, four will be published with one print, will be printed in one uh, somewhere in Shumulu. Some other pages will be printed somewhere in Mushi. Almost three decades after this activism journalism, has this fourth estate of the realm lost its steam in the face of seeming oppression? For me, I will continue to talk and I will continue to advise our friends. Yes, talk, write responsibly, but nobody should ask you not to use the basic tools of your profession. It's like someone asking you to tear your certificates. We are saying that we should do all that is possible and they are all within our power and within the ethics of our profession to ensure that even while we are seeing that what has happened is not too good, it's not healthy for our democracy, we should also be guided in our trances and not to put this democracy and indeed our profession to jeopardy. For these veterans, it is a mixed bag if the nation has achieved the goal of what June 12 stood for. The best uh, monument to the June 12 memory is this holiday we are having. At least for once, we are telling the world that that was the day we showed the world that we can be democratic. Why President Muhammadu Buhari enjoys the encomium of declaring June 12 as the Democracy Day and subsequently confer the honor of GCFR on MK Wabiola, the consensus here is that it must ensure freedom of the press as guaranteed in the Constitution. Kyle de Lande Indi, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.